we saw that patients treated with either thermal ablation, which was closure fast or laser, or stripping uh, performed better than the patients treated with foam. Whereas in, in the former group, we had a success rate of 95% after five years, there was only a 75% success rate in the foam group. It's clear to me and to most others, I think, that if you repeat foam injections, you will obtain a much higher success rate. But in my opinion, uh, there, is, there are some veins that are quite resistant to foam. If you do it our way, we do the truncal ablation with the foam and we uh, add phlebectomies, you obtain the same result. At least in the short uh, term, you obtain the same result as you do with thermal ablation. And the patients love that treatment because it's very easy for them. It's absolutely not true. I mean, in several European country, countries, uh, stripping is still the most used uh, treatment. And uh, the majority of laser fibers that are used now in Europe are still bare fibers. And uh, closure fast is used everywhere. So these, uh, these treatments that we have studied now are still uh, used a lot in Europe and the United States. We saw a higher degree of neovascularization after laser with the bare fiber and after stripping compared to venous closure. We saw a reduced rate of uh, recurrent varicose veins in patients treated with closure fast. So uh, if I should treat my wife, I would use closure fast. But you should also consider that this is uh, a bit more expensive than laser.